Hi guys, welcome back. Today it's going to be an interesting video. Somebody asked me the other day, hey Alex, what do you do when you are creatively blocked? And this is a great question and I thought, thanks for your, your question and I'm going to make a video about it. I'm going to talk about why we creative designers, we get stuck, how you could potentially get unstuck and I'm gonna explain also what is all this mess. Why do we designers get stuck? Well, my personal opinion, maybe you disagree, maybe you guys have other ideas, but in my experience from all these years, I realized that every time I've been stuck, I've been stuck for only one reason. I think this thing is called clutter. There is a lot of shit out there, guys. There is too many options to start a project, too many variables to choose from, too many things to compare your work with, too much stuff to choose from. There is one thing in psychology called the paradox of choice. And this is a huge problem because you think that by having choice, you are gonna choose better. You're gonna have more options. But in fact, what happens is the opposite. By having so many options, you actually don't value any of them. And this happens to all of us when we go on Netflix searching for a show. I'm gonna see if I find a movie to watch and because you have so much choice, you actually end up spending very long time looking at thumbnails, trying movies, but you don't like any of them and you keep switching back to the main menu to see if you find something better. In design happens the same thing. So if you are trying to solve a problem, you're trying to, to design a brand identity and you don't find a way to get there, is probably because you are overwhelmed by the amount of choices. So I'm only going to give you one tip and I want you to remember this tip. This is only one. Instead of 10, of three, of six steps to master design, whatever, I'm just gonna give you one tip. The one tip is you have to get all the work you've done, create a folder, call it archive, drop it all in there and start from zero. And to start from zero, you need to answer this simple question. What is this about? You have to describe in one simple line what your product is about. No room for stories, no room for word explanations. It's just a very simple, straight to the point explanation. Brand identity for a sneakers brand. Packaging design for a wine label. Poster design for an electronic music festival. Once you have your sentence, which is brand identity design for a sneakers brand or for a wine label or whatever you're doing, now you take that sentence and narrow it down to even a simpler version of it. Narrow it down to one word. If you have to choose one word that defines that brand, which one would that be? Let's imagine this brand is about long lasting sneakers. This brand is so confident about their product that they promised that these sneakers will last you for five or 10 years. The word you could choose to define this project you are doing could be, for instance, could be strength. So now, if you choose a strength, this becomes your concept. This is it. So you forget everything you've done last week and you start from zero. What is this about brand identity for a sneakers brand? And the concept I'm going to choose to communicate to and to develop as a designer is the one of a strength. Now you are probably tempted to go to Pinterest, find inspiration again, and do the same stuff you were doing last week that that's why it made you stuck. No, you forget about this, disconnect Wi-Fi. I know it's, it's easier said than done, but you go back to old school principles of sketching, and that's why I have these ones here. Look guys, these are a lot of my notebooks. I made a lot of drawings, all the design, everything you see on my website starts here. And if I don't solve it on paper, I don't go in the computer. 
because otherwise I don't know what I have to do. And when I was younger, when I used to get stuck a lot, it's because I didn't use this as much. I used them, I made some sketches, you know, some silly notes, but I used to spend a lot of time hoping to get the solution with the, with the computer, with the software. And this has proven to be really inefficient over time. I'm tired of spending long nights in front of the computer when I'm stuck because it's, it's a bad situation, it's, it's really frustrating and in the end it can make you really tired. And then when you have big volumes of work, if you, especially if you're a freelancer, you don't want to do this. So you want to become really efficient. These are my sketchbooks, some of them. I had way many more. Here, this is the one I use um, next to my, uh, to my bed. I have it every evening. I only have notes. Cover of a book or a page on a, on a magazine or logos. Then I have another one which is a little bit uh, thicker and I have uh, different colors. It's really good to have, to have a black and a red and a blue and a green, all type of drawings. So I have more here. This is uh, a mix of colors. This was when I was working at a company that they have a lot of these copy uh, colors and I have a bunch of even, even post-its and cats. And if you see my website, I have a section called notebooks and everyone tells me the same. They're, my favorite part of your website is the notebooks because they see this stuff. These are also other notebooks, a uh, bunch of colors, uh, notes. Did you see how helpful when you mix post-its and colors and other colors and notes? This could be a design system, like really like endless. I have a lot of sketches and drawings and I love doing this stuff. So let's get back to your concept of a strength and I'm going to draw with you how I will do it myself and maybe you get inspired to see how simple it actually is. I'm going to help you with your sneakers brand or your concept. How do you make sketches that are relevant to the concept of strength? Let's say, right, that I have my pen here, I have this here and we are going to call this brand, I'm gonna call it, let's say, uh, Dunkies. I'm not gonna call it the dunk because otherwise Nike is gonna sue me, even though I have no followers, but just in case. So dunkies. So I have the name now and every decision I make, every sketch I make, it points towards communicating strength. So if I had to choose a typography, I'm not going to use a light font because it doesn't make sense. You need to find a font that is thick and bold. So let's say we have something like, This one is more strong than this one, this donkey's one. This is, I don't know it's a silly sketch, but just so you get the idea, this is a conceptual, conceptually made decision because it's based on a strength. It's a concept that the brand wants to communicate. But let's say, let's go a little bit, you know, far and let's imagine we can actually do it in a different way. Let's say you want to create a lot of impact because it's a bold, strong brand and then what we want to do is to exaggerate or trying to find an icon within the name. I'm just going to do something I always try, which is to choose a letter of the name. It could be the D, it could be uh, the D and the S. Um, oh no, actually I'm going to use the K because it's exactly in the middle. So you have D, U, N, K in the middle and then I, E, S. So I can just use the K, right? And then the K, also the letter K, is quite strong as well because it has geometric shape intersecting each other. So I think that's visually, aesthetically it's strong as well. So let's say I choose, I make a big K. Something like this. And I don't know, I'm just making, trying to find, this could be, an attempt to an execution. Doesn't need to be the logo. You don't need to think this is the logo, this is the final thing. No, this could be, you are exploring, you are evolving. This, of course, this is shit, but I'm getting somewhere. But you can do more things. You can even extend it more. So let's say I can do something like, the K is so big and so permanent that it's gonna take over all the space. I'm gonna make a sketch that goes all the way outside the notebook. 
So I'm gonna go all the way outside, right? And then I write here in a small tankies. And then this one, this could be a conceptual, aesthetically interesting design. So imagine this K, this K becomes your brand element. This could be anything you design with for this Dunkies brand is with this big K, these letters or this letter, these lines intersecting all over the place for everything you do. So if I would be wanting to do, let's say a hand tag and a screen for a thumbnail on YouTube, and let's say um, an icon for Instagram profile, this would be round circle. So what I will do is always use my K really big all the time. This could be what happens if you actually go for, look, I'm talking about strength, I'm talking about long lasting, I'm gonna make a letter that is so prominent and strong visually that it's gonna take over all the screens. And then how you design this letter is a matter of playing in the computer, but you have a direction. You are going somewhere. You are trying something that is really powerful. Maybe this is full in color. Maybe this is just a thin line or thicker line. Maybe these letters are bigger. I don't know. This, we don't know yet. But this is what helps you find a direction that is easy to explain to your friends, like I explained just now here. And what you're trying to say, what the brand is trying to say, or the brief is trying to say, is usually just one thing only. So if it's a strength, you go to the brand and say, look, your brand is about strength, we are gonna make the brand this way. And then you, anytime you design anything, anything you do is based on a strength, the people of the marketing team or the owner of the brand is gonna get it right away. It's gonna be with you already from the beginning because he's, he's going to think, he or she is going to think, that's exactly my brand, that's what I wanna say. And in branding, the simpler you do it, the better. This is my process, hope it helps. If you want more examples like this, you can either uh, subscribe to the newsletter, it's free, four emails, and I go a little bit more in depth what you need to know, which is this video is only about sketching and what, what is this about. In the newsletter, there is a little bit more, which is about the audience. If you wanna go even deeper and know a little bit more, I wrote a book about it, I don't have it here with me, but this, I will leave the link below, it's a branding, brand identity book, uh, brand your business, brand identity, where I have a lot of examples. It's a very small book, guys. Like you go to the bathroom and you read it. So it's a very good one. And I have a lot of examples about this stuff. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.